Alright fellas, so I removed the uh, stock intake, which I won't be using on the 350, um, as this is, uses the, um, this uh, stock uh, throttle body that has it, holds all the sensors, and um, uh, so I'll be showing you several things here. Uh, first is, uh, I made these block off plates. for these uh, center exhaust ports, these smaller center exhaust ports, because they travel, uh, from, again, I had to research all this, I didn't know this, you know, I'm trying to get familiar with this engine, and, um, you know, that way there aren't any surprises and stuff like that, and at least I'll know how to fix stuff ahead of time if anything goes wrong. Um, but anyway, apparently, the way these exhaust ports are set up, on this particular intake, you, we apparently uh, we don't have to worry about this, but because these ports are already uh, come plugged uh, on this on the stock uh, intake, but the the I got a uh, um, I got a Wayan or Wyan I forget the exact pronunciation for the for the for the name brand of the intake that I got the it's a performance intake um it these ports on, on that intake aren't plugged and they feed into these uh small exhaust ports and uh from reading up on the subject uh what they do is um once the engine gets up to temperature the exhaust uh seeping you know going through those ports through through the intake um they cause the fuel to start to boil which is a not a good thing it makes it difficult to to start your engine once it's already warmed up say you shut it down and try to start it back up uh apparently it's a, an issue but so again where did i put there they are so, I made these little block off plates out of a thin sheet metal. And I'll try to do this with one hand. Essentially, what you would do, this block off plate would sit between the gasket. like so it's not it's not sitting there exactly the right way but you I mean you get the idea and you would use um, your gasket maker on the bottom on on the side that's that's touching the um, the block you know to to keep it in place and obviously you would add more on the top end of, of, um, of the block off plate between it and and the gasket itself so you get a good seal you know do and, and everything else would be your standard setup you know you put your your uh, gasket um, for your water your water ports and you know uh, put your gasket and all the other stock places you know just like like you would in any other engine so everything else is normal it's just this little extra step that we'll be taking to uh, to keep from that excess heat uh, going to the carburetor. Um, as, as you guys know, it gets it's pretty hot in Florida uh, pretty much year round, uh, except for those little couple of weeks of, of what we call winter over here. Um, so I am going to set up the phone on the tripod and uh, record this part. Hopefully I can keep the uh, phone from moving too much. Let me get this thing. I got this uh, Mega Black high temp silicone gasket maker. It's good for uh, uh, water ports, uh, your intakes, your man, um, uh, valve covers, and oil pans. So that's and so that's a good thing. So, 
only ever done this on the um, on the Z24 for the Nissan, for the V21. So this is actually this is actually new for me. Okay, so another thing that I'm going to do that uh, uh, mostly because of the intake, the, the weigh in intake that I got, uh, I had to make adjustments, <clears throat> or rather I had to enlarge the holes, or elongate, I'm sorry, the proper word is elongate the holes on the intake side. Uh, and you'll, I'll explain that, I'll show you what it looks like afterwards to get these four, four bolt holes or the bolts to to match to those because these four in the center set a different at a different angle than the ones on the outside so just for my own peace of mind and i don't have to worry about any oil leaks because of those um bolt holes are now slightly elongated i'd rather make a, a better seal than not you know better, not better than not take any uh any chances and just to be on the safe side i'm gonna do it on the, around the bolt holes as well most people don't even bother with this and that, it's okay whether you do or you don't i'm just i gotta be safe because you know like i said this is my first time doing this on this specific engine so i'd rather be you know safe than sorry i'm having a little on this so if i'm around these bolt holes it's not gonna hurt anything RTV, and this RTV on, on the bottom side of the gasket, that way I can slap that uh, walk-off plate, or stick it on there, and it won't, and, uh, so it doesn't move. We use uh, marker lines as our guide so we know that we have it in the best possible uh, position.
Okay, now we can work on the other side. I won't record that part, you don't need to see, that's just more footage that's gonna waste time. So once I come back on, I'll have the other one already set up. Here's the, uh, the weigh-end, or why end I'm not sure how the exact pronunciation is of this, but uh, the uh, performance intake. I'll, I'll slip in photos into the footage because uh, I painted this the other day. Um, with high temperature paint, went through several coats. Because I've had, again, I've had this uh, intake for a while, and it's just been sitting out, so it started, um, I mean, now it looks nice and shiny and looks good, looks brand new. Uh, but the rest of it before, it looked more like this on the inside, like the entire thing. And I also added a high temperature clear coat as well. I went, I think I went three or four coats. All right, so I got the uh, intake on. Um, it's not tightened up or torqued all the way down. It's just, you know, finger tight. Got to wait about an hour or so um, before I can torque it down. Let the, uh, gotta let the, um, Gasket maker will do its thing for about an hour or so, and I'll torque this sucker down. And hopefully, next week, next weekend, I'll be able to um, install the uh, the car demon carburetor, um, get everything I need to start this, try to start this sucker up. But yeah, that's it for now. I just uh, put a little tape in these areas, except for this one. It's kind of small, but just to keep any creepy crawlers from getting in there. And that's about it. So uh, I'll see you.